What's up, Legends, and Happy New Year. We're gonna go Pokemon card hunting today to see what we can find. But first, I gotta stop and get a bite to eat. Can I get a uh, spicy chicken sandwich? We'll do a small fry and a cup of water. Combo meals and fountain drinks are for suckers. Just get water. Thank you, you too. Now, which chicken sandwich is better? The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich or the Popeyes one? Let me know in the comments below. All right, before we check out some retail stores, I do wanna check out my local game store and see if we can pick up any singles that we're looking for. Let's check it out. All right, nothing that I was really interested in today. They did actually have some of the 151 booster bundles, but unfortunately they are charging market price or median price, I'm not sure. So they are charging like $40 for it. So it's really not worth it at that price because the whole reason you buy the booster bundles is because it's the cheapest way to get 151 packs. But uh, anyway, guys, let's head on to some stores. I think we're gonna check out Walmart first. Yeah, this one where they keep it behind the register, so we'll go check up here. That was a pretty good find. It's not very often that we find the 151 mini tins. And uh, best of all, I finally got my Dragonite one. I had never found this one before. Anyway, guys, uh, there's also a GameStop over here. Let's run quickly over there and uh, see what they have. Yeah, nothing crazy at GameStop, but now we are headed to another part of town with yet another Walmart and GameStop right next to each other. Let's go see what they have. All right, nothing I wanted to get at GameStop, but they did have a whole bunch of uh, 151 UBCs, and uh, they did have a bunch of uh, Crown Zenith ETBs. Uh, they're about $50-ish, a little bit cheaper if you're a pro member. Um, so definitely not a horrible price for those, but I've definitely seen them cheaper before, so we'll uh, skip that for today, but we're just gonna be lazy and drive over here across the parking lot to Walmart, and this might be our last stop for today. What do we got here? A bunch of sleeved boosters, Paradox Rift ETBs, the tins. Got a one lone 151 ETB. Oh, look, we got even more of the mini tins. Very nice. I don't know, maybe we'll get another one of those. Two full boxes. Very nice. What else? We also got the poster collection box. We still got quite a bit of the Crown Zenith Black Friday boxes. It's actually quite surprising for how little is here that we actually have two full boxes of those mini tins. I don't know anything about baseball cards, but this seems like a pretty fancy box to get right here. I forgot to mention, this is also a banana hunt. Success. Well guys, we do have one more stop before we head home, which is, uh, you may have noticed, I kind of need a haircut. So we're gonna get that done and then we'll head back and open up some 151 mini tins. All right, we'll see you back at home. 
Well, thanks guys for joining us on the hunt today. And by the way, if you guys are looking to upgrade your wardrobe for this upcoming year, I actually did that. I actually purchased some of these uh, t-shirts here from Into the AM. They provide a lot of really cool graphic tees and even just these uh, plain V-necks with or without the branding on them. I really love the quality of them and they fit very well. But anyway, guys, if you decide to check out Into the AM, use my link in the description below because you'll get 10% off your order with them. But anyway, guys, I'm super excited to open up some more 151. I just don't get sick of this set. We found the mini tins today. Let's see if we can pull that Charizard or the Blastoise, some of those cards that we still need for our master set. All right, let's start off with this one here featuring Machamp and Cubone. Let's see here. There we go. Got our little fighting coin, little art piece there. And these are always kind of crammed in here, so hopefully they're not damaged. There is a good chance that they are, but we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Have a code card if you want it. Ekans, backwards snake. All right, here we go. Cubone, Vulpix, Magnemite, Rigid Band, Graveler, Protective Goggles, Magnemite. Do we got any first pack magic? Not on that little uh, slot there. And in the last card, just a hollow wheezing. All right, hopefully our second pack in the tin give us some better luck. We got Weedle, Zubat, Grab Two, Weeping Bell, Kabuto, Gloom, Fable, Haunter, Paris, and the uh, Golem EX. Not bad, it's something. And also, nice fighting hollow energy. Got, I think, two swirls on there. So we'll stick our hits right up here. We gotta save the Dragonite ones because, you know, we know all the hits are in the Dragonite ones. Whoops. Let's get into another. Here we go. Star you will give you a code card first. Then we'll get going. Charmander. I mean, I see something. Maybe sparkly back there. It could just be the hollow I'm seeing. It always fakes you out, but I don't know. Could we have something here? Could we have something here? Oh, I think we might. Oh, shoot. What is this? It could just be a full art. All right. All right, what do we got? Oh, let's go. We got the Erica's Invitation. Oh, uh, we got the the, illust the special illustration rare. Oh, I can't talk. Let's go. Man, what a beautiful card. Wow. Man, pretty nicely centered on the front. We got to take a look at that. Yeah, let's take a look at that. And Dodrio. Let's see. These 151 cards, they do not have the reputation of being, having good quality, yeah. Got a white dot down there. Probably not gradable, but man, that's actually, that's a really well-centered card though. I don't know, we'll have to take a closer look later. Maybe it could be gradable, but regardless, I do need this for my binder. So that'll be the main thing we're doing with this. Man, that's awesome. I'm really excited about that. And with that, I feel like we've pulled almost all the trainers. I'm trying to think if we're missing any. Um, I know we pulled the, the regular full art of this one. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. We might be missing just the regular Giovanni. We actually pulled the the um, SIR of that Gio Giovanni as well. All right, guys. Uh, oh yeah, we still have another pack in this in this tin. Let's go. Let's let's keep the the, the magic rolling. go. Might be spawning that last card there. Ratata. Akuna Mastata style. Licky Tongue. Venonat. Erica. Just a regular one. Magneton. Nido Queen. Mr. Mime. 
Oh, wow, nice. We, we keep pulling Pikachu. We pulled this one. This is our third time pulling him. I'm not mad about it. This is a sweet card. There's so many cool things going on on this card. Could this possibly be a gradable one we can hold, hold on to? I'm not sure. The centering looks not too bad on the front. Oh, nice. We got a double hit. We got the Venusaur EX on top of that. Let's go. That was a fire 10 right there. We got three hits in a single 10. That doesn't happen. All right. So looking, the centering is not horrible. Top to bottom's good, I think. Left to right, the left is a little thinner, and you do have some white spots on the corners, unfortunately. Yeah, I just, uh, if you can find a single 151 card that's gradable, you're you're doing well. Like, I feel like these are gonna be some low pop cards, but I don't know, we'll see. Well, before we keep going with our opening, I actually have some mail here to open up from Whatnot. Now, Whatnot is the app featuring live streamed auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some pretty great deals. Make sure you use my link in the description below because you can actually get a $15 credit towards your purchase on there. So let's see what we have for our Whatnot pickups today. Looks like we got a couple cards in here. Okay, we'll just open them one at a time. All right, kind of getting out of there. What do we have? We got, oh, very cool. We got a tag team card, the Magikarp and Whale Lord. Just the regular one, this is a promo. Um, there is a much more expensive version of it, this one, but I, I love both versions. This one is still by Mitsuhiro Arita, the original Charizard artist. And uh, yeah, I love how it kind of tells a story. Obviously you see Magikarp getting swallowed up in this scene, and then in the next scene he's getting, um, what do you call it? I guess blown out of the Whale Lord's blowhole. So, pretty cool card right there. One you gotta have if you're a Magic Cart fan, I feel like. Alright, let's check out our next one here. Looks like we got a little milk carton sticker. Okay, what do we got? That's what do we got? It's card looking near mint for sure. Some great centering on this one. Oh, very nice. Very nice. All right, we got the base set Nido King. Definitely one we have, but I may have, I probably bid on this because it probably just looked like a really good deal. <laughs> and uh, honestly, it's a really nice looking car. The hollow looks beautiful. Oh man, these, these base set cards, I just don't get sick of seeing them. And Nido King is a very underrated one from base set, in my opinion. Let's see, it looks like we got some silvering going on on the top there, but that's the main issue I'm seeing. The scratching is very minimal, and like I said, the the centering on the back is very nice. You do have a little bit of whitening around, but very little. Still a near mint card. That is awesome. Oh, and what we have up here next is a very, very different kind of card. It almost looks fake. Some might even say that this is a fake Pokemon card, but I would actually argue that this is actually a real Pokemon card. This is a Fun School Pokemon card. So Fun School, believe it or not, is actually the official licensed Pokemon cards that came out in India back in the day. And uh, it came a few years after the, the boom or the hype of Pokemon in the 1990s. Looks like the uh, the date here says 2004, but uh, yeah, the from what I understand, the story goes that uh, the Pokemon Company did license this company, Fun School, to print their own Pokemon cards, and they are, as you can see, playable, but they look quite a bit different, as you can see. They've got a little bit different fonts, and of course, the artwork is completely different, but uh, I don't know. I saw this come up, and I just learned about them. I think they're pretty cool. So I went ahead and picked this up. I don't know, I might have to pick up some of the other fun school cards because, I don't know, I just feel like it's a very unique kind of part of history. And like I said, you can argue whether or not they are legit cards. They're obviously not made by the Pokemon Company, but of course uh, the original ones were made by Wizards of the Coast, so those ones weren't made by the Pokemon Company either, technically. Anyway, do with that what you will. So those are some cool pickups, I think, from Whatnot. Again, make sure you can get your $15 credit if you want to pick up some cool stuff there. Recom definitely recommend the single streams. They obviously have a lot of breakers on there. People 
open in packs for you. I personally am not into that. I like to open my own packs myself, but I do love the deals, so I definitely find a good bit of those on whatnot. Anyway, guys, we still got a couple more of these mini tins. We actually pulled some fire from one of them already. Let's see if we can keep going because we got our Dragonite tins, and I know my boy's not going to let me down. He's got some, some good stuff in here, I believe. Let's see. You can have that. We got a Pidgeot to start, or Pidgeotto, I mean. Magmar, Shelter, Bellsprout, Seedra, Kabuto, Gloom, Kabutops, or Kabutops. Whoa! Yes! Let's go! We need the Alakazam EX. Whoa, what an incredible card this is. Look at that. He is levitating the spoon. He's kind of like in this almost like a potion shop. Man, that card is incredible. Man. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare. I'll maybe move my light a little bit. Man, I gotta just get a good look at this again. Got some cool stuff going on. He's kind of using a little spell book. Some different little potions and concoctions going on. Oh man, see? Dragon Eye, I knew he knew he wouldn't leave me hanging. Alright guys, anything under there, just a hollow bee drill. Again, let's go ahead and just look at the condition of this because this one also looking fairly well centered. And still you got a white dot up there. Not quite gradable, but I don't know. I mean, I do send my cards to Beckett and they definitely value the centering a lot more than some of the other grading companies do. So we would get some extra points on our subgrades for that. Anyway, let's uh, sleeve this guy up. Wow, I'm in shock. We've we've been hitting big today. And just in time, I will say, because we've got Paldean Fates coming out pretty soon. I'm probably going to go pretty hard after that set. So we got to at least get a good bit of our cards we need for our master set before we move on to there. Otherwise, we're just stuck in master set limbo for a million sets. That's kind of how I do. But anyway, guys, let's keep it rolling with the Star U. Charmander, Spiro, Rhyhorn, Fero, Onyx, Dragonair, Electabuzz, Reverse, Psyduck, Flareon, Hollow, and we got a Fire Energy. All right, Dragonite, you got anything else good for us today? Yeah, and honestly, I was definitely kind of hesitant to get the mini tins because last time we opened these, we did not get that good hits, but we also didn't find the Dragonite tins, so. You know, I knew that all the hits must have been in that tin. Let's go. Let's just go ahead and pull that Blastoise and that Charizard so we can just wrap things up here. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think those might be the only SIRs we need still at this, if just after those. Like, we just hit two of them just in one little sitting here. All right, Ghastly, Paris, grabbed two, Krabby. Venomoth, Rapidash, Nidorina, Hunta Hunta, Ekans, Gengar Hollow, Clefairy, Machop, Porygon, Electabuzz, Hypno, Polyrath, Pidgeot, Ponyta, Reverse, Reverse Articuno, and a Hollow Omastar. All right, so we got a dud tin there. We didn't really pick, uh, pull anything in those packs. All right, we got one more Dragonite tin to go though. You know, I really can't complain at all. I think we pulled good enough for the whole opening already. So anything in here is literally a bonus. Tentacool, Rattata, Squirtle, Licky Tongue. Kingler, Energy Sticker, Ride On, Slowpoke, Antique Old Amber, and we got another Venusaur EX. All right, guys, just like that, we're on to our last pack. 
Let's see if we can end off with a bang or not. Here we go. Pidgeotto, Magmar, Shelter, Bellsprout, Rapidash, Nidorina. Grab two there, Eradicate, Cloister. And here we go. If we got a Charizard or a Blastoise, it'll be in this spot right here. We have just a Ratatata, of course. And we're ending off today with a Hollow Marowak. But wow, guys, just some incredible hits for today. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to check out one of these videos here on screen if you like Pokemon card hunts and openings. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. And lastly, I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. Happy New Year and I'll catch you next time.